This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation, specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. So once your developers have built these features, or perhaps you've downloaded features from a third-party provider, or you've gotten them, you've purchased them, many features or extensions to SharePoint have been written by third-party vendors. Right, so you may buy them, or they may be open source, um, but either way, you have them. Now we need to get them into our environment. So you can see that to deploy them uh, first, and then you need to activate them. So you deploy them in PowerShell. You can see install-sp feature, and then you path to the feature. Uh, deploy features, you can use the STS admin tool as well. STS admin is a command line tool that uh, was used in older versions of SharePoint. And it's still there in SharePoint 2010, uh, but it's deprecated. They're not sort of adding functionality to it. It's being replaced by all the PowerShell commandlets, but it's still there for those that just got really used to it and don't want to lose it yet. So you can deploy features using that. Um, you can activate the features in the browser. So the actual activation, I mentioned it earlier, you can, you, there's a page in central administration where you can go and you can see all the features and you choose to activate or deactivate them. But you won't even see it until in, in there until you deploy it using the PowerShell or SDS admin. Uh, you can also activate the features in PowerShell if you wanted to, or also in SDS admin. Now, solutions. We call these farm solutions. Uh, a solution package will bundle features into a single deployable unit. So an individual feature is fine, and we can import that, uh, just as we were talking about. But a solution is where we can take a whole bunch of features and combine them together. It could be some web parts, uh, it could be certain assemblies, certain files, certain site definitions, um, any number of the following that you see listed there, right? And we're bundling them together and we're uploading them together as a complete solution. Many times we do that because the third-party vendor that's building this solution, it's not just a web part, right? A feature might be a, a new web part. But if it's a complete solution, it might include a site definition, a template, so that when you go in to create a site, you grab that new solution template, and inside of that template includes certain workflows, certain designs, certain assemblies, uh, certain web parts, you know, all of that together packaged as a solution. So SharePoint deploys solutions to all web front-end servers in the farm automatically. So when you go through the deployment process, it deploys it out to everywhere it needs to be. Because remember, there are certain files involved here, and those files need to exist when they get imported, need to exist on every single web front-end server. So again, we see a list here of how to do it, adding solutions in the PowerShell, add SP solution, and then you path to it. Uh, you can use STS admin, and then you deploy the solutions in the browser. So once it's been imported, you go to the solution page, just like with the, uh, with the features, and we activate them. Um, you can also deploy them in PowerShell and STS admin as well, uh, if you wanted to. Now, one additional thing sort of related to our developers and working with our developers is you have something called the developer dashboard. Um, it's basically an instrumentation panel for them, um, and it's, it's essentially a custom site. It's a site template. You go in and deploy a site template called the developer dashboard, and they get uh, a lot of tools inside of there used to diagnose um, their tools to use to diagnose their custom code. Uh, so use to diagnose delays in page loading. You can enable it using the PowerShell. You can turn it off, turn it on. Uh, there's a few different customizations for it, but that's the developer dashboard. Um, and as we can see here, using the developer dashboard, uh, first of all, you can enable it, either in the PowerShell or here's how you would enable it in SDS admin. Um, and then below how you would enable it in PowerShell. Here's an example of enabling something where using SDS admin might be a little bit easier for you than going through all of that uh, PowerShell sample code. 